I think it's not uncommon when one has been around for a while, as I have, to grow interested in this place. Most of my life has been lived in the university as a student, as an officer of the university, as a faculty member. And so I'm interested in where we came from, and I'm interested in knowing more about those on whose shoulders I and th those of us who are here stand. In October of 2014, a new history of the University of Rochester was published. The previous one that was totally full scale was published in the mid-1970s, and that ended with 1961, so we really hadn't visited our story. And I think it's important to look at this not only to keep our history up to date, but to consider with the eyes of the 21st century what we have done and where we've come from. Well, I think for me what stands out in this case is the dad give for me, which has to do with the campaign in 1924 to raise money, which was used then to build the river campus. We did an exhibit to go along with the publication of the history, and really that seemed a, a wonderful way to show the history to people and show things that couldn't be shown in the book as well. I also noticed the manuscript of the Genesee, the university's alma mater, which we're very fond of singing at any and every opportunity possible. People want to know. They want to know what their heritage is in the same way that families want to know what their lineage is all about. Full many fair and famous streams beneath the sun there be. Yet more to us than any seems our own dear Genesee. One of the first things that I was interested in was Asa Hull Kendrick. Asa Hull Kendrick was one of our founding faculty members, professor of Greek. Professor Kendrick, for whom buildings are named and roads are named, who is this person? And he brought our motto to us, well, let me find out more about it. And the bell I've always been intrigued by. Is it true that it was run by Azel Kendrick to announce the start of classes on November 5th, 1850? Do you know? I don't think so. I think usually it was the janitor who rang the bell. Oh, really? I think that curating an exhibit like this where I was putting 155 years worth of history into eight exhibit cases, one really has to distill the history because it can otherwise be a little overwhelming. How do I make sure that everyone who looks at the exhibit will see themselves in it? The complexion of this institution has changed really dramatically. We were largely monochromatic, I would say, with respect to the demographics, not only of faculty, which we continue to work on, but also in the student body. I think one of the things that people will see in each of the cases is the student perspective. And so I do hope that students see themselves and see the past what their predecessors did, sometimes what their parents and grandparents did. It's how that history evolved and was developed over a long period of time, intergenerationally, is what sets us apart, I think, from our sibling institutions. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.